Okay, welcome to the level 7 multiplication video. In level 7, we will begin looking at 2 by 2 multiplication problems. As always, you can download the attached PDF to follow along. So, as in level 8, um, we will need to calculate our starting pointer location and we simply do that by adding the number of multiplicand digits plus the number of multiplier digits. So let's go ahead and jump into a first problem here. So we'll take a look at this problem 81 times 27. So I'm going to choose this as my uh, unit rod and then I need to count off four because I have four digits in my problem one two three four so here's my starting location so I take the first multiplier digit two and multiply it by the first multiplicand digit eight so two times eight is sixteen so I enter sixteen like that and that's pretty straightforward now we're going to uh, move one rod right and we will multiply the two times the second multiplicand digit 1, so 2 times 1 is 2, and I enter that as 0, 2. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. And now we're going to shift to the second multiplier digit 7. So in this case we will keep our pointer here because in effect we have uh, three digits for our starting location. So we'll take 7 times 8, which is 56, and we'll enter 56 from this location, and that gives us uh, this interim sum of 218. All right, let's move on, and now we will move one rod to the right and we will multiply the 7 times the 1 in the multiplicand. So 7 times 1 is 7, and um, we enter that as a 0 and a 7. So there we have our final answer of 2,187. So hopefully that was uh, pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and take a look at a second example problem. Again, I have four digits, so I count off one, two, three, four, and I'm going to do the first multiplier, digit six. Six times five is 30, so I enter 30. Okay, now I'm going to uh, move to the second multiplicand digit, move one rod right, so I'm going to do six times two, which is 12. Okay, and now I'm going to shift to the second multiplier digit 3 so my uh, pointer is going to remain on rod 3 and now I'm going to do 3 times 5 which is 15 and then I'm going to multiply the 3 times the second multiplicand digit 2 3 times 2 is 6 and I moved my pointer one rod right so I enter the 6 and I have a final answer of 3,276. Okay, hopefully uh, this is all making sense. Let's go ahead and do one last example. Alright, again I will count off four digits, one, two, three, four, and I will start here with my first multiplier digit 3 and have 3 times 5 which is 15 okay that's very straightforward and then I'm gonna multiply move one rod right and multiply three times the seven and I have 21 and now I'm gonna be shifting to the second digit of the multiplier the six so I'm gonna keep my pointer here on rod number three and this time I'm gonna look at um, 6 times 5, so 6 times 5 is 30, so I'm going to enter 30 there. And then finally, I'm going to move one rod right and do 6 times 7, which is 42, 
and that gives me a final answer of 2,052. So hopefully that all made sense to you. If not, please feel free to go back and, and check out uh, what you need. But uh, good luck and keep practicing.